Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So once my ground floor columns have been casted and the shuttering and concreting we have done, the next task is to put the beam bottom and the shuttering part. But here I'll teach you the concreting part first. This is the shuttering part. So if you see here, this will be my shuttering part where you need to uh, find out this bottom, this bottom portion you need to find. Okay. So this is a beam soffit. Then you need to find the inside shuttering, this one. And then another one outside shuttering will come. Okay. All this shuttering you're supposed to find. This is the bottom. This is inside shuttering. Then let us say somewhere outside shuttering in this way. You're supposed to take care of all these things, but this, the shuttering part, I'll uh, explain you in the next lecture. We'll try to calculate the beam concreting quantity now. Okay. I'll teach you the beam concreting part now. So in the beam concreting, so let us say once all your slabs are done, I'll show you one image for that. Yeah. So give me a minute. Yeah, fine. So this is how our entire thing will be done. Okay. This will be outside shuttering, which I'll teach you later. And this will be inside shuttering. Now I'll teach you how to find the concrete co concrete quantity for this particular beams. Again, concrete quantity will be very simple. What things you should be knowing? For example, if I want to find the concrete quantity, let me find one good beam here. Okay. Oh, uh, this. Yeah. So if I want to find the concrete quantity of this beam, what all things I require? I require the length of my beam. Okay, very simple. Okay, I'll quickly do that. This length I want. Okay, this length. Then the breadth will be known. The uh, beam breadth will be known. The depth of my beam will be known. If I multiply all the three quantities, I'll get the concrete quantity in the beam. Okay, slab concrete and slab, slab centering will do, it, will do it later. Okay, this much is clear. You got an idea what we are supposed to do now. For that, I'll take you to the drawing part now. So we'll go to the drawing part. Now you need to look into the first floor level layout. Okay. Now, because we are calculating the beam uh, concreting part. So when you're, see, you're standing in the ground floor, you're looking to the top. So that will be a first floor layout. So that beam layout will be given. So that is why it's written first floor level layout. And then all the beam names are given like FB1. F means first floor beam one. Okay. Then we have FB2, which is first floor beam two. Then FB3, which is first floor beam three. Then we have FB4, which is first floor beam four. In this way, all the beams has been given here. Now, again, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to prepare an Excel sheet like this. Okay. In this way, you're supposed to prepare the Excel sheet and you need to write down everything. Again, it's a bit tedious task. I'll show you, I'll tell you, I'll explain you the other easy, easy way of doing this, but first explain, understand this. So FB1, FB2, FB3 in this way, how many beams are there? FB58. So in your drawing, there are FB58 beams. You can see the last beam here. So this is my FB 58 beams, all the beam name I've written and also I've written the size also size will not get here. There's a separate table given here schedule of beam. So FB one is 200 by 350. FB two is 200 by 350. FB three is 200 by 350. In this way, all the things I've written it here. Okay. You can see all the size I've written it here. So once this is done, next your task is to find the length. So how you'll find the length again, column inner to column inner. That means if I want to start with this beam, if I want to find the FB3 beam length, then again, I'll go to the dimension option in AutoCAD. I'll select this outer portion or the inner portion of the column. Okay. And I'll drag it till the, this inner portion of the beam. Okay. And I'll say how much is the length? It is 4750. And what is the name of a beam? FB3, no floor beam three. So I'll go to the Excel sheet. See FB3 here, floor beam three. So floor beam three is here. What I've written? 4.8 I've written lower beam. Okay. 4.8. I've written Excel sheet. How much I got 4.750. I think uh, I made a mistake. Let me do that. Wait. Uh, in Excel sometime, no, uh, your calculation will, I mean, slight variation will happen. Not an issue. Okay. Just try to keep your mouse here. Yeah, exactly. From this outer to this outer. Okay. You keep it. This is the end point. It will show end point. End point and now you drag it. How much is the dimension? Okay, it is 4750. I'll input 4750 only in Excel sheet. It is FB3 47 4.75. Okay, uh, wait. Now it should come. Huh. Now it's correct. Okay, because you have to increase that number if you want. Otherwise, it will take the next higher number. Not an issue. 4.75. 
So again, FB3, I have done an input. You are getting my point? Similarly, I'll explain you for FB1. So FB1 is how much? So you come here. Where is the FB1? The floor beam 1 is here. So this is my FB1. So now you have two options. Again, either you take the full length from this outer to this outer. And for FB53, you're getting my point. See, already you know that. I'll repeat it once again. That's it. So you have one option. You take the beam from here to here, this outer to this outer you take for FB1. Okay. And when it comes to FB53 and FB42, you take up to this length from this column outer to this one here and here. This is one option. Otherwise, the, what is the second option? Second option is you can take your FB1 only up to this length. Take up to this length FB1 and your FB42, you take this full length. Your answer remains the same. Okay. When you add a total quantity, your answer remains the same. But always the best practice is whichever length is more, no, that you take completely. For example, my FB1, this FB1, floor B1 is more length compared to FB53 and FB42. Now what you do, usually the practice what I follow is you take complete, whichever is a larger beam, no, for that you take the complete length, outer to outer. Okay. And for this FB42, you take only this much, it's enough. You take only this much. And for this, you take this much, no issues. Okay. You're getting my point. Same thing I've done. You see 816 is this distance. This again, 816 is this distance. And this outer to this outer is 4995. Okay. Same thing I've done. I input here 4995. It's it's taking uh, 5 because I need to increase that. Yeah. 4.995. You're getting my point. So in this way, you need to input everything. I explained you for 2. I done for everything. Okay. What you do? Try to go to your AutoCAD drawing uh, uh, and try to uh, check the dimension. It will, it's a time consuming process, but we don't have option. You're supposed to follow this method. Okay. I'll teach you one more method also in this, which is very simple compared to this. This is understood. Length you understood. Rest part is very simple. Uh, yeah. Length is known for us. Now come to the width. Width is already mentioned. Your beam beam width is 200. Depth is 350. So in the width, I've written 0 0.2. In the depth, I've written. Okay. Wait. Let me do one thing. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. Depth I've written 0 0.350. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Depth I've written 0 0.350. Okay, fine. In the same way, FB2 also, it's same thing. So what you do, this 0.20 is common in every all the beams. You just write 0.20 in one beam, write 0.20 here, and then you drag it from here everywhere. So your width will remain same for all the beam. Now come to the depth part. See, depth is not same for all the beam. Like you see, FB1 to FB4, it is 350 depth, whereas FB5 and FB6 is 400 and 400. Then again, FB11 is 400, 400. From FB20, 21, it's a 500. So what you do, the best practice is I'll tell you wherever the size is different, no, you give a different color to that. Like I have done it. See my FB5 and FB6 is 400. So I've given a yellow color to that. Wherever I have a beam of 200 by 400, I've given an orange color to that. How do you give a color? It's very simple. Select that beam. This three you select. Okay. There's one option here. Color. You go easy here. Fill. You go here and give it that color. What color is that? Uh, I don't know which color was that. Okay, uh, okay, it's a uh, this color. No, it's a purple color. It's here. Yeah, this color. You see this color I've given purple. Okay, in the same way, again, wherever this 500, again, this was 500. I've given a same color so that it is easy for me when I try to input here. If I don't give a color, no, it's difficult for me to identify which is a 350, which is a 400 beam. So that is why give a different color so that it is easy for you to understand. This much is clear. Then what you do, you write 0 0.35. I'll do it here. You first write 0 0.35 only. Okay. And then you drag it everywhere. You drag that depth. So once you drag the depth, next, what you're supposed to do, come here. Now you are given already a color. This is 400. You can easily identify. Okay. This is 0 0.4. You just come and change it enough. Again, this is also 0 0.4. Okay. So this color will help you to uh, do all the things in a better way. Otherwise you can follow one more method. Also, the method is that. Instead of giving a color here, you give color everywhere like this. So it is even more easier. I selected this. I'll go here. I'll go to the this color. 
Okay. In the same way, I'll select this. Okay. I'll give this color. Okay. Now what will happen? Now it's very easy. Here directly I'll come. I'll write 0 0.4. Okay. Now just drag this portion. So everywhere it is 0 0.4. Okay. So I'll drag in this way. See, everywhere 0 0.4. Now here you see it is 500. So input 0 0.5 in one cell and then you drag it. So even it is more simpler now. 0 0.5. Again, this is 400. Only one beam. No need to color if you want. You can color completely. Again, you come here. See, this is 500. No. Completely color it. Magenta, this color, purple. And this you make it orange. Or not orange, it's a yellow color. Make it yellow. Okay, this color. Okay. Now again, it's easy for you. So just write 0 0.5 here and then drag it up to here. Again, this is 0 0.4. Write it 0 0.4 and drag up to here. You're getting my point. So in this way, when you do know, you'll be in a better position to understand where the depth has to be changed. Now I'll remove everything. It's not required for me. Yeah, I think I've done. Yeah, done. Got it. So in this way, you're supposed to do. So I got the length. This number is only one, okay? Because FB1 is only one. So length I got, width I got, depth I got. I want the concrete quantity. What I'll do? Equal to sign? Equal to? Length, you multiply this by width, multiply this by depth, you'll get the concrete quantity. Now you reduce the size of that. And then I want the total quantity. Total quantity will be how much? Very simple again. So total quantity will be equal to sign, equal to sign, concrete quantity, multiply by number. Done. Now just drag all these things enough. You'll get answer for all your beams. Okay. When you drag here. Done. And now you bring this at the center. Select this. Select this. Go at the center. Make it bold and change that font. Okay. This much you can do. Fine. And this also I need to change. After the decimal point, I'll keep only two digits. Yeah. Hmm? This is enough. Done. Now, another thing. When you want to, now we, I'll put the total concrete quantity. What I can do, just select here. There's one option here, auto sum. You have to select this portion. The auto, auto sum. When you do the auto sum, no, the Excel will directly calculate all the value. Like we used to do sum, open the bracket and all. But here, what you need to do, just click here. Go to the option called as auto sum. Select on that. The Excel sheet itself will take all the value and hit the enter button. You'll get 13.97 concrete quantity. If you want, I'll do it manually also. See, equal to sign. I used to write sum, open the bracket, and now I used to drag it, isn't it? I'll select from here, I'll drag it. I'll drag it up to here, and I'll close the bracket. What answer I'm getting? 13.98. By auto sum also, it is coming same. You can adopt both the method, okay? No, not an issue in that. So we got the concrete quantity. That is, that is what we were looking for. So 13.98 cubic meter of a concrete is required in the first floor beam. Okay, if I want to do the first floor beam, Almost 13.98, let us say 14 cubic meter of a concrete is required. So this is how you are supposed to uh, prepare the Excel sheet for the beam portion. Now, since this, uh, again, this is a bit lengthier process, isn't it? Every time you have to write FB1 and all. Instead of doing this thing, you can adopt one more method. That is, usually that is a method what we adopt. What we do, we need to write the grid number now. That means, for example, I'll take, first I'll go horizontal, then I'll come vertical. Okay, now check the horizontal part. So this is your horizontal part. This entire thing is your horizontal beams everywhere. Okay, so what you do, what you do, you, you calculate the length at once. You calculate this length from this outer to this outer. You calculate the length at, at once. Okay, how we are going to calculate? It's very simple. Go here, take the dimension option. I'll take the dimension option. Okay, I'll start from here. This I want. I'll measure from here. Outer to this outer, isn't it? This outer I want. Measure this. Done. How much you are getting? You keep it here. It is 141.31. That is 14.13 meter. It comes out to be. In this, what all things you need to deduct? You need to deduct the length of this column. This length, this column length I'll deduct. Because here your beam concreting won't come. Column concreting will come. In the same way, this column length also I need to deduct. This length. Even this column length also I need to deduct. Then again, this column length I need to deduct. And here anyway, it's not required because I took only till this outer, right? 
Now what I'll do, I'll check the dimensions of this column. Okay. So for the dimension again, you take the dimension option. Take this dimension. Okay. This dimension to this dimension. How much it is? 350. Okay. Then again, this dimension I want. From here to here. How much it is? Okay. From here to here. It is how much? 200. Okay. Then again, this is also 200. Yeah, this is also 200. Then again, last, this portion. You're getting my point. Okay. This portion will deduct now in the overall length. So now try to count what is the total length you have. I mean, this portion 350 plus 200 is 550. 550 plus 200 is 750. 750 plus 200 is 950. So what is the overall length we got now? 14131. So write it down 14131 minus 950. Try to do this calculation 14131 minus 950. So it is 13181. That means it is 13.181. Uh, if I divide it by 1000, I want in meter. Yeah, 13.181 is a meter. This is the overall length what I have. Now, what I need to do, I just have to multiply by the breadth of breadth so breadth is 200 mm for all the beams now depth portion it will be a bit confusing now let us consider where fb2 fb3 4 and 5 and 6 no yeah it will start see listen fb2 3 4 5 and 6 i'll go to this part from fb2 okay fb2 is 350 3 is also 350 4 is also 350 okay fb5 is 400 and fb6 is 400 so then this will not work out because why you know because see these two beam depth are more whereas this beam depth is less but still no then it will not work out i'll do one more thing i'll do one more thing instead of doing all these things no i'll give you another simple method will not do that i'll just only i'll i'll take only uh, this length for you to make it understand okay what i'll do i'll take length from this outer to this outer this much is enough i'll take only three beams now okay because in these three beams no fb4 fb3 and fb2 two three and four see here two three and four the depth is same 350 and width is also same so i it will be easy for my calculation so what i'll do i'll just take only the three i'll try i'll teach you how that how to verify those answers that's it okay yeah it is eight to six seven that is eight point six to seven meter now I'll deduct this uh, 350 from here and I'll deduct this 200. That's it. This much only I'll deduct. Okay. So try to do this. Uh, 8627 minus 350 here and minus this one. This was 200. Okay. How much it comes out to me? 8627 minus 350 minus 200. So it is 8.007. 8077 which is 8. 077 meter fine now i got the length i know the breadth breadth is 200 i know the depth you tell me the concrete quantity here 8.077 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.35 how much it comes out to be 8.077 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.35 i'm getting concrete quantity 0.56 cubic meter okay cubic meter now just understand the value 0.56 I'll verify in with my answer you're getting my point now I'll go to the excel sheet I'll take fb2 fb3 and fb4 beams only okay so I'll take this you bring here yeah this you keep here okay I'll take only this beam that is fb2 3 and 4 this I'll, I'll make it I'll give a different color to understand yeah okay see fb2 fb3 and fb4 individual quantity i've got i'll add all the three quantity and let me verify whether i'm getting 0 0.56 or not okay equal to sign 0 0.11 plus 0 0.33 plus 0 0.13 okay 0 0.57 i'm getting because it is taking that point value no issues okay because here the length they have taken but same quantity we are getting you're getting my point either you follow each beam but it's a very lengthier process but since you are doing it for the first time, you do it in this way. Else, if you are very confident, you can follow this method, whatever the method I have told. Okay. Provided, make sure 
the beams are of same depth. If beams are of different depth, then you cannot directly multiply uh, the length with the breadth and the depth because depth portion will vary. Okay, so that is why you can do adopt this method also. Uh, that method also you can do uh, provided the depth is same. Okay, so try to follow this method, which is very simple. You can do otherwise if you are finding it difficult, take individual beams that also you can do. Hmm? That's how it is. So I hope you have understood my understood this concept. You can follow this or you can follow that method. Uh, it's up to you. And I always suggest you start with this method. Once you gain expertise, once you gain knowledge, then you have, you'll be confident enough to do this particular method of uh, clubbing all the this thing. What is that? Uh, length. So only the thing, only one thing which you need to understand is whenever you take the overall length, you just have to deduct the B this thing column breadth. Okay. So in this, if I take overall length, this column breadth, this column breadth, this column length, this column length, I need to deduct. In that case, I'll get the overall length. You're getting my point. So this is how you're supposed to do it. Hmm? Yeah. So I hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here. You got an idea how the concreting has to be done. And finally, we got almost 13.98 cubic meter of a concreting for the beam concreting. Okay. Yeah. So in the next lecture, we'll do it for the shuttering part. And after that, we'll do it for the slab uh, concreting and the slab centering part. Right. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.